Stayallday.com. You ever seen one of those documentaries about the food industry in America where they show you how terrible the situation is for the chickens and the pigs, cows? You ever see those documentaries? If you haven't, you should go look one up so you've got an idea. At least you have an idea of what the hell you're eating. Even if you ain't trying to go vegan or vegetarian, it ain't about that. And that topic is not even about food. I'm telling you that to tell you this. If you ever watch one of those documentaries, what you'll see is when it's time to send the cows to the slaughterhouse when it's time to kill the cow and spit their throats and chop their heads off and make steaks and hamburgers out of the cows. You know, the ones you eat at McDonald's and that you get at the restaurant. You know what happens? They send them into a slaughterhouse. They're in the slaughterhouse and they put them on a conveyor belt and on it because the cows are so big, you can't just grab a cow and throw it over there. Like, you got to somehow convince the cow to go the direction you want it to go. When you watch one of those docks, you're going to see the cow walk through, get his throat slashed. The very next cow, you know what the next cow's going to do? After he saw the previous cow get his throat slashed and the one before that and the one before that, and they can feel the energy of cows dying. You know, animals can have feelings, right? They can feel energy, right? You ever walk into a room and you, you ever heard the phrase, you could cut the tension with a knife? You ever walk into a room you could feel the tension and nobody even said anything? You ever walk into a room you could feel the excitement and nobody's even talking? That's energy. We can all feel energy. We're animals. Human beings are animals too. We can feel energy. The cows can feel the energy of the other cows dying. They can feel the energy of the death. They can feel the energy of the stress, the fear, the anxiety. You know what they do? They walk right into it too. They see the cow get its throat slashed. Then that cow who saw that happen walks up and lets it get his own throat slashed. They just keep following each other over and over and over again. They all get killed. They all become hamburgers and cheesesteaks. I'm telling you all that to tell you this. People who follow, people who see what everybody else is doing, then they just go do it without even thinking twice. To see us human beings, we got brains that are much bigger, much more complex, and much more capable than a cow. Followers walk into slaughterhouses, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens to followers. Because those cows, again, you can't make a cow go anywhere it don't want to go. They don't have the ability to rationally think and say, oh, does this make sense? Should I do this? If you don't have the ability to ask yourself that, you become a follower. You know what happens to follower cows? Follower chickens, follower sheep, they walk into their death. They walk into getting trapped. You know, you ever been to a zoo? You wonder how those animals got to the zoo? You think they just flew, you think those birds just flew into the zoo? You think a monkey just swung off some trees and landed in the zoo? You know how they get there? They got caught by traps. You know how you know how us human beings catch animals for the zoo? By traps. You know how we do it? Because we know exactly what they're going to do at all times. We can watch an animal and predict its behavior because animals, again, don't have the ability to rationally think. An animal has a certain pattern of behavior that it follows forever. You, you have the ability to do that. But I see too many human beings getting caught. They end up being animals in the zoo because they don't know how to think for themselves. They follow what everybody else is doing. They don't. They never change up their patterns. They just do whatever they see others doing. They do what they've been doing all along because that's what they've been doing all along. Since you're not going to get killed, the slaughterhouse is living a life that you're not satisfied with. The slaughterhouse is being the person that you've always been and never getting better. The slaughterhouse is being unsatisfied with where you are, who you are, what you're doing in life because you're not doing anything that you really want to do because you become a sheep. You're following the one in front of you, watching his throat get slashed, and then you walk right up to it to get your throat slashed like you don't have a brain, like you don't know how to think for yourself. Use your brain. Do not be a follower. Do not walk into the slaughterhouse. Listen, you might be living in a slaughterhouse right now. And here's the great thing about human beings and our big brains. You turn around and walk out at any moment. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. Thanks for watching this vid. Follow me on all these social media platforms here. I'm active on all of them. You can reach me on all of them. And if you ever have a question for me about anything, send me an email. Dre at DreAllDay.com. Everybody, I'll see you in the next vid. Work on your game. Dre all day.